Because if I'm podcast show and I'm talking to Alice Renard. My name is Alice Renard. I grew up in Brittany, on the west coast of France. My father was French, my mother British. My mother is from Wales, the country that forms the western part of the United Kingdom. Celtic legends and myths permeate my childhood. I was an avid reader and was started re- writing down my own stories when I was 14. I always wanted to be an author, but real life intervened. I had to earn a living. So after studying business in Paris, I took a job on in an audit firm. At the age of 26, my life changed. I moved to London, a, life, a city I loved deeply. I now married to a Londoner. We have a son. I work full-time as a compliance specialist for a biochemical pyro- company. I never stopped writing. Too fast and late. I finally got my first short story published in the UK magazine. Seeing my words in print was the first time it was thrilling after many ancestral attempts and many writing classes. I guess a slow writing learner. My first novel, A Mermaid's Choice, was published in January this year by Black Velvet Seductions. I love reading, writing, and sharing stories with others and spend every bit of spare free time I have doing that. What novels would you like? To read, I read The Lord of the Rings, which uh, was 12, and thought, I want to write stories like that. That was it. Desire to write never left me either. after that. You mentioned you, you, in your work that you set it all set in a paranormal gothic setting. Would you let, let your readers know why you were more attracted to that gene? Maybe it's because I'm half Britain and half Welsh. I think legends are in our blood. They say that J.R. Tolkien invented modern fantasy. We have lots of fancy paranormal authors in the UK. We write and publish more ghost, ghost stories in the UK than anywhere else in the world. Maybe it's all the all the mist, all the mist of gloom in the winter. I always loved the paranormal, fantasy, and gothic. I don't want to write anything else. When you're writing about paranormal, do you research? If so, how far do you go? With your research, I, I am familiar with Celtic myths and legends. Have read so many fantasies and paranormal stories, and I don't actually do much research on paranormal settings, creatures. You're already in my head. Have I? I do. I am writing a story about witches. I did much research on the witch trials of the seventeenth century. I read a lot about old spells, beliefs, charms, and magical plants. It was gratifying. What's the most important to you about writing your novels? I want to create characters in a world where they are believable. You can, you can have the best style ever. Readers don't care if they don't emphasise the characters and their struggles. So, whether I write about shape shifting mermaid men, or sea witches, or time travelling warlocks, I always strive to make them real flesh and blood characters with ideas and feelings of their own. Who is the most offers that influence you? Tolkien, Neil Carman, and M. G. M. R. James, Master of the Ghost Story. Also read a lot of history books about myths and legends. My favourite periods are the early Middle Ages, the 17th century, and Victorian era. Which novels are your favourite, and what? Why is it your favourite? If I I only published one novel so far, A Mermaid's Choice, so it's my favourite. Have my second book in the series, Music for a Mermaid, is is with my editor. I enjoy that writing that very much. I love the witch story you're currently working on. I'm feeling that my favourite book may end up being one new series I'm playing about. Shapeshifting, time-travelling warlocks. I'm in love with them already. Do you believe in the paranormal? I believe the ghosts is this. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what they are. I'm not sure that they are exactly the spirits of the dead. But there are many explained phenomenon and so many credible reports. There's no doubt in my mind. There's much out there we're not able to explain. For as for creatures, even today scientists discover new species in remote areas that nobody ever heard before. Who knows? Can the human and the mermaid ever be joined together? A mermaid's choice, Alice Renard. 
What was your action when you learned the pups you wanted you as part of their, as their authors? Very excited and also a bit doubtful. It seemed almost good to be true. I had so many successful attempts at being published. I found it hard to believe someone would take a chance on me. Black Velvet Seductions are great to work with, and the other authors are so supportive. It feels like a family. What sets you apart from other paranormal gothic authors? I like to think I come up with original twists on familiar themes of great world. Readers will believe and enjoy. Here are some of the things readers have said in their reviews. This is a beautiful, forbidden love story, not like in some clan rather in danger. I can't wait for the new book or the series. My everyone's choice is interesting. Take on the sea world. That, this is a, uh, this was so much fun and interesting. And writing made me feel as I should could see the colours and environments. I, well, I, I, as if I was in a story. What can a writers expect from you in the future? A second book, my mermaid series, Music for Mermaidism, with my old editor. I hope it launches at the end of the year. It's a sexy summer forbidden love story about a shape-sifting married man who works as a cop and beautifully written, beautiful human eco-warrior with some dark elements inspired by world legends. Once as a holiday, I'm currently working a short story about 10,000 words about an apprentice, witch, and a time travelling lord for a supernatural anthology to release in time for Halloween by Black Velvet Seductions. Keep an eye out for those books and more to come.